Hello and welcome to a guide on how to unlock the Bulldog. Now to unlock this you need to complete the Lions and Tigers and Bears assignment and the prerequisites for this are you must have reached rank 10, you must own the Dragon's Teeth DLC and you must have played on a Dragon's Teeth map. If you don't have all those then you can't unlock the Bulldog. The actual assignment is to kill 10 support, kill 10 engineers and kill 10 recon. Now it's not quite that simple. You must be assault and you must be on foot and they must also be on foot. The full wording of the assignment is while on foot as assault kill 10 support enemies who are also on foot and it's the same for the engineer and the recon. So what's the best way to do this? Well pick your favourite assault rifle, go out and kill as many people as you can. Now it's pretty random of course who you're going to come across. So worrying about classes isn't really that important as long as you just keep playing the game and you're playing as assault on foot, shooting people who are also on foot you're going to complete this assignment eventually. It took me five rounds I think to complete this playing Conquest. Now you don't have to do this on a Dragon's Teeth map but you do have to have played a Dragon's Teeth map. I tend to do all my unlocking on Conquest Large because you've got longer rounds and you can actually work towards your assignment easier. So if it's a ribbon, you've got more chance of getting ribbons if the round's longer. And it pays to concentrate on one assignment at a time. Although with this assignment, you will unlock various parts of the other assignments. And this is what your assignments tab will look like at the end of the round. Anything that's in white in the bar is what you've got in previous rounds. Anything that's in orange is what you've got in this round. And as you can see, even though all I'm doing is trying to unlock the Bulldog by killing things with assault rifles, I'm getting a lot of parts of the other assignments. Now the gun you choose is up to you, but on these Dragon's Teeth maps certain guns do lend themselves to certain maps. This is propaganda. Now parts of this are okay for the AEK but you are pushing its range a bit to try and pull off shots like this consistently. So I would suggest going for something down the middle. So go for the Ace-23, go for the 416. That will work across all the maps. Here you can see I've changed over to the Scar H because this is more of a longer range map and it works much better than the AEK but you could just stay using the Ace-23 or the 416. Use a gun that you're comfortable with. For my taste, I was using the Scar H on Lumfini Gardens and Propaganda, and I was using the AEK on Sunken Dragon and Pearl Market, just because of the ranges that are involved in the maps. But like I say, it's all a matter of personal choice. Use whatever gun you're comfortable with, just grab an assault rifle, go out and kill as many people as you can until you've got 10 of each. The thing that took me the longest on this assignment was finding engineers. Because I was just playing on these new maps, there's no vehicles on Pearl Market or Lumfini Gardens, so you don't tend to get engineers on those maps. So eventually you're going to fill this bar up it is a bit frustrating because you get nothing on here for killing assaults and if you've already killed 10 engineers you get nothing for killing another engineer. But you are getting stuff towards the other assignments like I say so as you can see a few rounds in a lot of these assignments are filling up nicely. So we're going to skip ahead a few rounds. I don't know these maps so it's been a lot slower than if I just went out and tried to do these assignments on maps that I actually know. But eventually after spawning in this very strange place on an enemy spawn beacon I do manage to get my final kills. 
And this gentleman here he is going to give me my final kill when I finally chase him down. Spray away, and there we get it. Lions and tigers and bears completed. I also get an assault rifle ribbon, but more importantly, I get the bulldog. And it shows that the end of the round has been completed. The badge is now not shaded out. And you can see I've got 10 of 10 on all three. And I'm getting pretty close to doing some of the other assignments as well. But let's take a look at the Bulldog and its stats and see what kind of gun it is. In game, its stats are pretty impressive. It does 34 maximum damage, dropping down to 25. So close range, this is a three or two shot kill and at long range is a four shot kill like most assault rifles are close up. It's got a rate of fire of 700 rounds per minute. It holds 20 plus one in its magazine. Its reload times are about three seconds when it's got a bullet left in the magazine and about three and a half seconds when it's empty. The closest existing gun in Battlefield 4 to the Bulldog is a Scar H. It uses the same damage model, it's slightly slower firing at 600 rounds per minute instead of 700. They've got the same magazine size, but the Scar H is quicker on the reload. However, the Bulldog is a bullpup, which means it's better on the move. With its damage model and its rate of fire, there's only one assault rifle that kills faster than this, and that's the FAMAS. But the FAMAS can't keep up with the Bulldog at range. But the biggest indicator of how good the Bulldog is, is when you compare it to the AEK. The Bulldog outclasses the AEK at any range. It outdamages it, and it's more accurate than it. Let's take a look at the Bulldog's recoil in the test zone. So here we have the bare bones gun with just the reflex scope. And I'm gonna fire against this wall, which is 25 meters away. So there you can see, Bulldog is pretty much straight up. No pull to the left, no pull to the right. It's a vertical gun. So it's left and right recoil are balanced and aren't that high. Its vertical recoil is a bit sharp, considering it's only got 21 rounds in the magazine and not all of them are hitting that wall. But this is without any attachments to help it out. Let's compare that to what the gun's like when it's got its first attachments on it. Reflex sight, laser sight, muzzle brake and ergo grip. Those are what you unlock first. And we'll do the same test against the same wall. Now, as you can see, there are more bullets hitting the wall, but its pattern is a lot less vertical. There's quite a bit of shimmy side to side. And that's because the muzzle bake is reducing that vertical recoil, but at the expense of an accuracy penalty. And the ergo grip isn't doing anything to help while it's aimed. So, on the right hand side, you can see we've got a much more ziggy zaggy pattern. On the left hand side, we've got a much more vertical pattern, but much wider spacing between shots. If we have a look at the Bulldog's hip fire, you can see it's not that bad. So it has got an ergo grip and a laser sight on it, but its hip fire is quite controllable and it's not spreading them absolutely everywhere. If we try it with the same setup, but without the muzzle brake, just the standard barrel, you can see the pattern's a bit narrower, but it's a lot taller. It's almost going off the top of the wall. On the CTE servers, I found I prefer it like this, without the muzzle brake. So I've been running the Bulldog with just a bare barrel or with a flash hider. And the stats confirm pretty much what we've seen against the wall. It's got a 0.3 pull left and a 0.3 pull right. So it is balanced and it's got a vertical recoil of 0.5. So compared to the Scar H, it's got 0.1 extra recoil left and right because the Scar H is running at 0.2 left and 0.2 right. Its vertical recoil compares to the Scar H and the AEK. 
but it's that damage model and that rate of fire that make the Bulldog pretty special. This thing is going to be the new utility gun. It works on all ranges. Okay, it might not be as accurate at long ranges as, say, the HK416, which is another utility gun, but its damage model and that rate of fire mean that this thing kicks out damage pretty much better than anything else. Might not be as fast in close range as the FAMAS, and I think the CZ3A1 and the ASPAL also have quicker to kill times, but none of those guns will work at range, and the Bulldog will. So let's have a quick recap on the assignment. To unlock the Bulldog, you must complete Lions and Tigers and Bears. To do that, you must have reached rank 10, you must own the Dragon's Teeth DLC, and you must have played on a Dragon's Teeth map. And while on foot, as an assault, you must kill 10 support, 10 engineers, and 10 recons who are also on foot. Once you've done that, you'll unlock the Bulldog. So I hope this guide helps you unlock the Bulldog and shows you just why you should unlock it. Thanks for watching.